Good afternoon. It is actually good afternoon outside. Came home from work. It was zero degrees. Just checked the temperature. Just now it's minus one, which is nice. Nice. I, I don't know if the spring is actually here or if it's a false spring. And you know what I'm saying? Is it could be hitting a second or third winter. And the forecast for the upcoming week looks pretty good. Didn't see it get, didn't see anything colder than minus five for a high. So let's hope that stays that way. It's nice to see some of this snow melting. You can actually see some of the roads that were actually plowed. That were actually plowed. Yes. And the road, the, the road that going to my house is really, snow looks a little bit chewed up. That's gonna get a lot. It's gonna get a little more chewed up the longer it stays warm. So, so there's that. It is actually a nice, bright play outside. Not sure about snowballs yet. Not warm. It's nice out, but not quite there yet. So there. Let's see. Yeah, the NHL All Star game was yesterday, so. Who was it? The Atlantic beat the Central for the All Star win. You guys remember the Atlantic beat the Metropolitan, the Central beat the Pacific, and the Atlantic beat the Central, so. I think today's a Pro Bowl. I'm not sure. Uh, supposedly, it's kind of like a skills competition compared to kind of like the. NHL All Star game, but I heard it's a three on three game, so I don't know how that's going down. So, honestly, frankly, I don't care either. Yeah, any kind of All Star game like this is like, okay, a break from hockey or football for a few days is like, okay, good. Which also means you get to go to bed earlier than usual, which is helpful. Especially for a semi-old guy like me. Yes. Let's see. Now I just got this clue staring at me. So we're gonna do yesterday's clue or yesterday's je double jeopardy review. So yesterday's ca category was Supreme Court cases for two thousand dollars. This double jeopardy answer. 1967, on interracial marriage, this appropriately named couple versus Virginia. Answer, what is, who is Richard and Mildred Loving? A pretty, pretty last name. So, yeah. So today's final Jeopardy uh, category is architects. Make a wager. Well, I'm not going to do that. That could be a copyright. Okay, the answer. This renowned architect designed the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, Spain, and the Disney Concert Hall in Los Angeles. Anybody got a guess? Because I don't have one. I got nothing. Oh, wait. I kind of know the guy's... Look, the name's not there, but... I think I know, but I'll know once I see the name. So, find out tomorrow whether who's right and who's wrong and how much got won and lost. It's too bad it's not real cash, but it's okay for me, though, as well. I'm the one giving out the clues, so... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, a year ago, yes... I seen a photo yesterday and I didn't realize what was going on. It's like somebody posted the Canada coming to the in the Parade of Nations. I was like, wait, was the opening ceremony a year ago? Yeah, this was yesterday. So was this a year ago already? A year ago yesterday was the opening ceremony to the Beijing Olympics. Uh, the last of three in a row in Asia, the 2018 in Pyeongchang, South Korea, 2021. In Tokyo, Japan, and last year in Beijing, China. So, oh, sleep deprived? Yes. Was it worth it? I believe it was.
Yeah, okay, but what about Paris 2024? Well, we're not there yet. We're only 536 days to it. I'm looking at my countdown here, so 536 days. On this, the 5th of February, 2023. 2023. Anybody remember when when we hit the year 2000 and the world was going to come to an end? Jeez, I wonder how that turned out. Wait. Ah, okay. Let's see what else is there I can throw in there. No, I got nothing. Okay, so that's it for today's video. Stay tuned for either possibly later, doubtful, but because I might be going a bit early, or likely tomorrow, which is likely. So stay tuned for that.